It is believed that 66 million years ago, dinosaurs walked the earth. This was until a meteor measuring 10 kilometers wide hit Mexico. This caused worldwide forest fires. Tsunamis several kilometers high and an impact winter in which dust blocked out the sun for months or years. The city of Pompeii was a major city during the times of ancient Rome, where many wealthy people had summer homes. It is estimated that between 10,000 and 20,000 people lived in the city of Pompeii. The city was very advanced for its time. The rich even had running water in their homes. The city was located near Mount Vesuvius, which was a volcano. On the 24th of August, 79 AD, the volcano erupted. Scientists estimate that 1.5 million tonnes of ash and rock shot out of the volcano every second. The ash cloud towered over 20 miles high above the mountain. Some people managed to escape, but most didn't. It is estimated that 16,000 people died. There were earth tremors days before, but Romans did not know that this could signal the start of the volcano erupting. The city of Pompeii was buried and gone until it was discovered again in the 1700s. Amazingly, much of the city was preserved under the ashes, including buildings, paintings, houses and workshops, which would never have survived all these years anyway. The Great Fire of London was a huge fire that raged for three nights in September 1666. It destroyed much medieval London. The Great Fire started at the bakery of Thomas Fariner on Pudding Lane shortly after midnight. His maid failed to put out the ovens at the end of the night which ignited the wooden house. Once it started, the fire spread quickly. A combination of events enabled the fire to spread across the city rapidly. London had a long dry summer. There were strong winds blowing. Buildings were situated closely together and were mostly built out of wood. Amazingly, records show that only six people died from the fire, although they may not record the deaths of the poor people. The fire destroyed 13,200 houses, 87 parish churches and St Paul's Cathedral. On the 10th of April 1912, a ship called the Titanic set sail from Southampton, heading for New York City. At the time, the Titanic was the largest ship afloat and was able to accommodate over 3,000 people. On maiden voyage, she carried 2,224 passengers and crew, which included some of the wealthiest people in the world, as well as hundreds of people immigrating to North America. Although Titanic had advanced safety features, such as watertight compartments, there were not enough lifeboats to accommodate everyone on board. On the 14th of April 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg causing the ship to fill with water. Some passengers and crew were evacuated in lifeboats, many of which were only partly loaded. By 2.20 a.m., the Titanic broke apart with over 1,000 people still aboard. 
the wreck of the Titanic remains on the seabed and was discovered in 1985 at the depth of 3,784 metres.